welcome to the nail engineer and um, today we're going to be doing some mineral stone nails um, just these rose quartz ones for now I think um, and also known as Himalayan rock salt as well um, I as I always do got bored a little bit of my uh, of my money and I found out that my balls weren't silver all the way through on my little uh, um, Chanel pinkies, my Chanel handbag pinkies on my Coco Mandala Moselle um, Manny video and if that's not out yet um, it's currently like uh, nearly three weeks old um, and I did film making this Manny which is starting to look a little bit tired um, so sorry about that um, but yeah um, there is a video in the pipeline if it's not out by the time this one goes live so um, yeah these rose quartz nails and you can see there that I've got like a tiny little bit of shimmer in there and this really does work nicely on on a, a pretty bare nail now i've got actually a base of um gel bottle ink um builder in a bottle number 18 and even though i've got quite a, a thin layer on there um because it's an overlay yes these are my uh, natural nails so yeah this would probably be best you can see here that we just don't quite have the same kind of transparency on the nail that I already did with my wrong hand as we do on the pop which basically just got a base coat of um, gel bottle ink 073 just a, a single coat and that's what I've got here on this nail a single coat over the weight for a kind of soft French look so this look is really a lot easier to do than you would think and let me just uh adjust the light there so you can get a, a real good look how it looks on the nail and you can see that it looks kind of like layered there's a bit of depth to it and that's exactly what you do with it you kind of like layer up these little kind of white striae, and you'll see how as we go through and basically what you do is you start out with your nail in my case I'm not going to put a base coat on there but what I'm going to do is I'm going to create the pattern just on my base. Obviously, if I had a bare nail, I would put a barely there base on something that's like really very sheer. Um, and you don't have to have a matte surface to do this. It just makes it a little bit easier um, to, to work with the acrylic paint because that's all that is used to make the little white striae or lines in the stone just a bit of acrylic paint with you can use like a super fine brush like this but I find actually even though you want a fine detail at the end of it this thicker brush which is um, I believe it's a zero it might be a double zero actually unfortunately I've uh, acetoned it off um, but yeah this thicker brush is better and you'll see why as, as we go along um, of course I've mentioned gel bottle ink number 73 just slackened off with a bit of um, a little bit of top coat um, and I'm also going to be using um, a CND grapefruit sparkle dupe um, the reason I'm using a dupe um, is and it's just a crap one that I got off of eBay before I was trained when I couldn't get hold of professional brands um, and just to see like kind of if I liked the colors because they're quite expensive um, I never really thought about the formula what a dickhead <laughs> but yeah at the time I just bought cheap crap ones off of eBay just to see what the colors were like knowing that they would cure in a, an LED or a UV lamp on like C&D and the reason I'm using the dupes today is because I can't be asked to dig out my UV lamp and go through all the rigmarole of curing for like two full minutes to use the proper CND one so so that's all I'm using is gel bottle ink 073 I'm using a matte top coat in between layers and I'm using the CND grapefruit sparkle dupe as well as my acrylic paint so first up what I do is I've got just a little bit of my acrylic paint decanted this is just actually uh, off my roll of um, nail forms that I use for doing sculpted extensions and all I'm doing is I'm just dipping into the water just a little bit just to kind of like get it flowing and get this is going onto my um, 
filed and wiped um, builder base. Um, obviously, if I had a bare nail, I would be putting a base coat on there um, and possibly also um, putting a matte top coat on top of that um, just to make this a little bit easier. And you'll see what I mean as we go through. It's easier to do this on something that doesn't have a tacky layer. So first off, what I'll do is I want my fingernail to look like it's a stone in the end. Um, and often with stones, like when they're kind of like domed, like a capuchon, um, they're thickest at the midpoint. So that's where I want to have like the most depth. So that's where I want to make my first marks. And you just can do it gently and randomly. You don't have to be any kind of artist by any stretch of the imagination. Look at that. That looks like nothing, doesn't it? And then this is where the magic happens. You just get your little dish with water and I always use a glass or like a porcelain, like a, a china dish um, when I'm using um, acrylic paints, just because acrylic paints will knacker anything that's like plastic if you're not careful, if you leave it there too long. So there you can see it started to dry. Before it dries, I want to get a bead of water and just lay it on in the middle just like that and then on my kitchen paper I'm just drying off my brush and I want it to be as dry as possible because I want it to just drink up that water and take with it the pigment in the paint see what I mean and then you're thinking Ooh, that's a bit too much white it's not very subtle compared to what the actual stones look like no bother just rinse and repeat until you're happy with how it looks and just remember that whatever's on this layer is going to be very much kind of in in the background you're hardly gonna see this because we're going to be layering on top so again just put it on and take it off now, if like me, you've been waffling on trying to explain something to the point that you can't actually do it <laughs> and your, uh, your paint has dried a bit, that's fine. Just give it a little scrape, just like that. And then back in with the water. And then lift it off. Whoa, magic. So. When, when you faffed with it as much as you want and you're kind of like happy with how it looks, at that point you're going to let it dry and then you're going to put a coat of matte top coat over it. So I'm going to do that and then come back. So after curing I've got something a little bit like that um, and on the subsequent layers I'm not going to have as much white there because obviously they're going to be nearer the surface and I want it to be a bit more subtle um, but anyway let's just uh, crack on I'm just going to do exactly the same thing again except I'm going to go in another area of the nail this time and why not have a little bit down here Now, what I don't want to do is cross over this until maybe the next layer because I want that to look like there's like maximum depth there. And that's another reason why I'm layering up in between, just doing one little bit instead of doing it all and then matte top coating. You need, even if it's just a thin layer, just something there just to give it that depth. So again, on with the water. take off my excess and see how I'm taking off more this time because I actually want it to be a little bit more subtle so I'm just going to do the same again let it dry matte top coat it might seem a bit tedious but actually it doesn't take that long when you're just doing it so now I'm going to pop on my third layer and for my third layer I'm going to be doing something a little bit different over it. Uh, with rose quartz you tend to kind of get like a little shimmer in it from the quartz and now I'm going to go over because I've got that layer there 
yeah so you tend to get like a little shimmer with the rose quartz and this is where my cnd dupe of grapefruit sparkle comes in and what i'm going to do when i've done this watered watered and kind of i was going to say sucked off <laughs> um remove the excess moisture with my brush once i've done this i'm going to go over with my grapefruit sparkle and then i'll come back so you can see now that i've got a tiny little shimmer in there which is even more subtle again once it's finished um and this just like really is quite effective i think for like mimicking that see that little shimmer that you get in the surface uh, sorry underneath the surface so now this has got a tacky layer so um it will be a bit trickier for you to kind of remove any excess so for this one i recommend that you use just a little touch more water with your paint and then hmm, what have we got well this area looks a little bit bare so uh, let's have yeah i think a few stripey bits and any that you get on your skin you can normally just wipe off if it's got water in it um, if it's neat you might need to use a little bit of um, alcohol or acetone free nail polish remover so we'll just do the same thing again pop the water on and take it off and the thing that you're going to have here is that it's quite difficult to get like your brush won't just simply suck up all of that excess because your tacky layer from your polish is going to cause some of it to actually cling on there so now I don't want all of this that's on here because it, it looks a bit kind of like a bit too regular if you've always got like a line on the top and then a line on the bottom and you can kind of like see what's caused it so sometimes I just pick my favorite lines and see these little crappy bits that come off you can if you want just kind of pop them down on the tacky layer somewhere else like that just to like add to the effect but yeah all I'm doing now is I'm just taking off the bits that I don't want just with the end of an orange stick and it's really it's like that simple and these little bits wherever they land I don't mind it just adds to the kind of randomness of the design so now I'm happy with the amount of, of white that I've got on the nail and I'm just using one of my uh, gold tackle on brushes just to apply the 073 mixed with top coat over the top and actually 073 by itself anyway is quite sheer um, but I didn't want to to fade up the effect too much um, which is why I kind of slackened it off with a little bit of uh, of top coat just to like thin it out just that little bit more and you can see that it does just give a kind of slight kind of milky depth to it so i'm going to cure that top coat and then show you what it looks like so here's the finished nails um there's my rose quartz this was actually a, um a bracelet believe it or not yeah it's a little bit chunky um and i think that's why it, the elastic snapped because it's so heavy these bits chunks of rose quartz um, maybe one day I'll make them into um, something cool and interesting but yeah there's the rose quartz nails um, aka Himalayan rock salt um, and if I was doing these like from fresh like I say I think I would have a much thinner or a, a less opaque builder underneath um, just to like really really let that sparkle kind of shine through but you can see it's it's still there and actually my builder on this finger was like what I would say normal thickness 
and I learned from doing this finger that I really needed to like file down even more on this hand so I think this hands much better but isn't that just the way anyway um, I really enjoyed actually doing these and I'm definitely gonna try some more mineral stone nails um, so stay tuned if you also fancy some nails that rock thanks for watching and I'll see you next time